What's up dudes and dudettes, welcome back, it is the one and only crypto enthusiast Light Liger here and today I'm gonna be doing a review on a decentralized Ethereum exchange called Bitcratic. And in this video I will be showcasing the website and its features and also how to trade on the platform because when I first got into decentralized exchanges such as Fork and Ether Delta, I found them kind of confusing. I didn't understand the mechanisms of depositing, then trading them and then withdrawing them. It seemed all complex compared to normal centralized exchanges, but it's actually not really that complex once you get the hang of it. So once you do it twice or thrice, you will finally get it and find it very, very simple thing uh, to do. And maybe you even stop using centralized exchanges altogether if you're only in the Ethereum token business. But let's get started. So first of all, we have the layout here. It, it comes in two different colors, white and dark. I actually like this a dark green neon type of style a lot more. I think it's a lot clearer. It is kind of reminiscent of the style of Fork Delta combining a bit of DDX style, but I do kind of like it. It is going for its own type of route, but at the same time, it is similar to some of the other exchanges. So the layouts and the charts are easy to read for all types of people. And there is quite many tokens on the platform. I counted them somewhat 70 here. We have a lot of established tokens here. Nexo is here, Decentraland, a lot of mainstream, uh, well-used top 100 uh, Ethereum tokens are on the platform. And these are just the listed tokens because it is actually a decentralized exchange. It can support any type of a token that is built on Ethereum. So let me show you how to do this. So we're gonna go to Etherscan and here's my profile and my mini tokens that I actually hold from all types of airdrops. I'm gonna be choosing a Sobi coin. This is not listed on the website. So what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna copy the address. This is the contract address, okay? This is the specific, don't take the URL, just this one. And then we're gonna go back to the site and here on the top, we see the trading pair. So obviously it's trading everything to, towards Ethereum. And what we need to do is change the first title here and we're gonna paste the contract here. So it's trading the contract versus Ethereum. We're gonna hit enter. Sometimes it takes twice with this browser, obviously. And then we can see here that there is a Sobi coin, as we said. So you can actually trade it on the platform. This is pretty new token, so there's no orders at all. And obviously the coins that are listed on the platform are going to have a lot more, let's say, let's take Atlant for example. So there are orders here already. So usually when you have a coin that is listed already on the platform, it has significantly a lot more uh, transfers going on. And basically there is no fees on the platform outside from the transfer fees. We're gonna be looking at that in the second. Plus after every trade that goes through, it's 0.0%, which is the same rate as Fork Delta. I think it's a pretty fair rate. It's not very high, to be honest. So in order to operate in this platform, you need MetaMask. And MetaMask is used pretty much on all of the decentralized exchanges, and BitCredit is no different. And what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be logging in, and this is where you have to have your tokens and coins. It's gonna be asking you to connect to the platform and you're just gonna hit connect. And now we are on the platform and here I have uh, my Ethereum and I have my tokens. And we're gonna go to choose the Bitcratic here, which is their native token. I don't think there's any specific use cases on the platform. And here it shows us deposit, withdraw and transfer. And in this case, we're gonna be seeing the wallet is the one that we have connected to Bitcratic. So the 14, 0.24 big credit tokens that I have are on my account that is connected to the MetaMask. So what we need to do is 14, we're gonna be depositing these tokens to the platform so we can trade them. Now we're gonna be putting the amount we're gonna be depositing and the hit deposit button. And now comes the actual uh, transaction on Ethereum. And this is something that I did beginning. I always did a big mistake where I put too much on transfer fees. I always pay too much because this is the rate you, when you click the edit gas fee. 
there is slow, average, and fast, and this is obviously based on what is going on on the actual platform and what is the price of Ethereum and everything like that. So the overall traffic will you know affect the pricing. But I, I usually suggest to take the slow because you're going to be uh, drop down in cuts. Obviously now it's more than this because actually it was um, we're not going to be paying that much. So I'm going to be putting like maybe 15 here or 10. And it's going to be giving us transaction times. These can actually vary quite a lot. So we're going to be putting just the sake of the video. I'm going to be paying a bit more so we can get this done. If you hit confirm and then you have the approve and then it's going to be another transfer here. Um, I, think, I think this is the, yeah, I think this is the same. So I actually don't, I'm not really sure. This, the one is the interacting with the smart contract on one is the deposit itself. And now you can get the actual um, transfer here. It shows up. You, I think you can transfer always with the, without MetaMask once you have linked it first time, but I think there's a flat fee. So while we wait until this transaction goes through. 2000 years later. Okay, so now that the transfer has finally gone through, we can see the wallet balance is zero and the transfer balance here is 14.24. And now we're gonna be doing the actual sale on the platform. Here we're gonna be putting the amount we're gonna be selling and this is gonna be the price that we're gonna be putting it. And this is the uh, lowest or highest like ask price which people are selling it at. Uh, I'm gonna put a bit more extra zeros there because I already like paid in transaction costs more than the actual value of the tokens just to showcase you guys in the video basically. So what I'm basically ad advocating is that you will count the actual fees and everything before you deposit so you will have good understanding how much you're going to be losing. But if you have high volumes of Ethereum to trade and tokens, well, you don't probably care about a couple of dollars going there and there. But people who are very keen on every cent, this is very important. And the expirement thing means that how many blocks till it takes that until blo uh, the... Uh, the actual, you know, order goes offline. So here we can see the order book and these are all active or if they are active, I'm not sure unless they haven't updated the actual orders here. But basically after the blocks have gone through, the order will expire. So in case you want to sell, you want to make the sale go through, then you want to just put the order for a one year, two years or something like that basically. So you make sure that eventually somebody will buy it with that price. And then we're just going to hit the sell button and now it asks for a contract sign and this is doesn't this doesn't cost anything once it's actually on the platform's uh smart contract then it's just like signing things up and there will be no gas fees and now it is basically it says the order has been there uh, order has been sent and maybe in a couple of minutes the thing will appear on the uh transaction orders i'm not sure is this only for the I might take a while until it shows up here, so you just keep refreshing. But here we can actually view the, uh, the deposit transaction and TXID for that. And also on their platform, they have some token sales. So IEOs are ongoing. Right now they have five tokens here. Know nothing about these five, by the way. And I recommend doing a lot of research when you're going to be investing in tokens. Because as I've said in the past, like 95% of them lose their initial sale value. That's a lot of tokens. But, and also in case you are running a token project, you can list it by contacting them on their website. There's also a guide for the website which shows you all the fees. These are the base fees, obviously, which you can edit as we did in the video. And also there is the deposit withdrawals and all this thing and the 0.3% which we were talking about from each trade. And here we have actually even guides, but it, it has all the things here and you need all the questions, everything answered. And also on their website, they do have a live support. I think this is uh, not always on, so it's not 24 seven, but I think the admin is around like eight, five hours a day. So in case you're online, you can go to talk to him and he will assist you with any type of technical problems that you may have. And then there's the smart contracts, which you can view here. Uh, the tokens are all also listed here. The help thing we already looked into. It's also available on Korean, Spanish, Francais. Uh, this is Chinese and English, which is good. I think 
uh, that is a pretty good of, uh, set of languages. I don't think many uh, other exchanges offer that many. But, um, and then there's also an API. Not sure what type of things you would like to take. Oh yeah, probably you want to be watching the actual trading volumes of tokens. And they also have their own token, the BCT token, as I, we already kind of discussed this already. It doesn't seem to have, it's kind of like a stock of sorts on the, on the platform. So in case they're going to be at one point, maybe sharing dividends or something like that, you can make a profit or, or something. But that pretty much rundowns my uh, initial breakdown of Big Critic. I think it's a good decentralized exchange. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more exchange reviews and airdrops and all that stuff that I do on a weekly basis. And I will see you guys next time on the next video.